It's so aesthetic and gynecology made easy. Today we are gonna talk about figo classification of fibroids and how to memorize it. And we will make mnemonic for fibroid degeneration. Let's start. The figo classification is divided into nine subtypes from zero to eight, depending on the location and the extent of the fibroid in relation to the uterine wall. Types from 0 to 7, which describe fibroids based on their relationship to the uterine cavity, myometrium, and serosa. Type 8 fibroids located outside the typical uterine locations, such as in the cervix, brood ligament, or even parasitic fibroids that have detached from the uterus and attached to other pelvic organs. So, how to memorize these subtypes from 0 to 7? Any two numbers whose sum is 7 will be described the same way. Before we start, subtype 0, 1, 2, located submucosa, and 5, 6, 7, located subserosa, 3 and 4, located intramural. So as we said, any two number whose sum is 7 will be described the same way. 0 plus 7 equals 7. So they will be described the same way. Both of them are bedunculated, but 0 located intra cavity and 7 bedunculated sub serosa. 1 plus 6 equals 7. So they will be described the same way. Both of them less than 50% intramural. And now 2 plus 5 equals 7. So they will be described the same way. Both of them equal and more than 50% intramural. 3 plus 4 equals 7. So they will be described the same way. Both are 100% intramural. And here is a photo memory. Number four looks like a flag in the middle of the field. So we can remember that subtype four located in the center of the myometrium. And number three looks like a handset of the telephone. So number three, 100% intramural and can contact, contact the endometrium. In the hybrid leiomyoma impact both endometrium and serosa like 2, 5. The first number to indicate the fibroid's relationship to the endometrium and the second number 5 indicates its relationship to the serosa. In the cross section of fibroids, the fibroids have a world appearance or we can say fibroids have a world face. After degeneration, the world face turns into a harm necrotic face. And the letters of harm necrotic face stand for all types of degeneration. H4 hyaline, A atrophic, R red degeneration, M myxomatous, N necrotic, F fatty, C calcification, and cystic. Fibroid degeneration can occur in a sequence, though the exact progression vary among individuals. Here is a general sequence in which these types of degeneration might occur. Hyaline degeneration, the most common initial change. Red degeneration, this occurs primarily during pregnancy or rapid growth. Cystic degeneration, fluid filled cystic spaces following hyaline or red degeneration. Mixoid degeneration often follows irregular type of degeneration such as hyaline and cystic. Tissue break, breaks down and fibroblasts produce mucin. Fatty degeneration, a least common type where fibroid cells undergo fat deposition, often see in older women. Calcified degeneration may follow fatty change, typically seen in postmenopausal women. This final stage 
involve the calcification of the fibroid as it loses its blood supply and viability. Let's start with hyaline degeneration. Hyaline degeneration occurs due to poor blood supply in the center of fibroids. And here is the letters of hyaline word. H happened frequently and Y yellowish pink materials. Protein such as collagen accumulate in the tissue replacing normal tissue with a glassy homogeneous substance. A for asymptomatic and age related common in older fibroid or postmenopausal women. L little impact on fertility and in no necrosis, just slow degeneration, no tissue death. And E for examination. Examination relieves smooth glassy tissue under the microscope. Atrophic degeneration. Shrinkage of fibroids due to decreased estrogen. Causes common after menopause when hormone levels decline. Appearance fibroids become softer, smaller, and may show necrosis or calcification. Symptom usually asymptomatic. Impact on fertility minimal effect. Management typically requires no treatment unless complications arise. Red degeneration, mnemonic RED, red. R stands for restricted blood flow ischemia leading to hemorrhage and necrosis. R rapid onset of pain, sharp and severe abdominal or pelvic pain. R resolves spontaneously, usually self limiting or reversible. E stands for clinical picture, E for edema, excoriating pain, and E for elevated temperature. D. During pregnancy, common the second and third trimester, hormonal changes increase progesterone are believed to contribute to this degeneration. Vessel thrombosis in the tumor capsule influenced by congestion, kinking of blood vessels from rapid growth and hypercoagulant state. This thrombosis may lead to ischemia producing lipoid toxins that cause intravascular hemolysis, resulting in a red stained tumor with a fishy odor on the cut surface. D4 drugs, analgesic for pain relief or surgical intervention in case of severity, increased severity of pain or persistent symptoms. Myxomatous degeneration occurs due to poor blood supply or hormonal changes. Rare and in the form of central myxomatous areas. Mnemonic mix, M-I-X, M. Mucine accumulation, mucine produced from fibroblasts, which attract water in the fibroid, leading to softening and gelatinous appearance. M, mild symptom or asymptomatic. I for irregular shape, clinical examination may reveal an enlarged irregularly shaped uterus. X for excision, surgical option, myomectomy or hysterectomy may be considered if significant symptoms arise. Necrotic degeneration due to complete cut of blood supply in case of irradiation. Fatty degeneration, mnemonic letters of fat. F. Fat deposits at muscle fibers at the periphery of the fibroids. A. Asymptomatic presentation and A. Age-related condition. More common in aging women, typically occurring in older patients. Most cases are asymptomatic, thought symptoms may arise if the fibroid is large, causing abdominal pressure or other mass effect. T. Trigger for calcification and Y. Yellow in color and soft. Calcified degeneration. Calcium salts are mainly deposited at the periphery along the course of blood vessels. The tumor becomes hard, warm stone, gives an X-ray, shadow-like eggshell appearance. If the tumor is vascularized, diffuse calcification is noticed. Cystic degenerations, areas of liquefaction usually following hyaline or red degeneration. This may be due to liquefaction of the hyaline material, leading to the formation of irregular pseudocystis, lymphagic and telangiectasis 
where the cysts are lying with endothelium. The tumor becomes soft or cystic inconsistency and may be mistaken for the pregnant uterus. Hope this helps. Please don't forget to like and share.